What's up, world? Lee here with Stick Strings and Other Things, my tiny little corner of the internet, where I come to you every other week and chit chat with you about all the crafty things that I have been getting my hands onto. I'm coming to you from an overcast Pacific Northwest, unsurprising, but yesterday was beautiful. <laughs> Man, a little windy, but in the sun, oh, gorgeous day. Today, slightly overcast, all good. It's February in the Pacific Northwest. What do we expect? Speaking of February, today is February 8. That is the day I am filming, and this will be episode 32. <gasps> Who looked up her stuff? I did. It's like I'm a pro or something. Not a pro. Today, I am drinking out of my Knit One Roll 20 mug. Just a, a Kimon Black, um, finishing up a variety of tea from one of my tea uh, yeah, yeah, da, 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 subscriptions. There we go. I get tea subscriptions. Why? Because I love tea. And I drink a lot of tea. I have to drink all my tea now, though. I'm happy to do so. Come on in. Welcome in. If you are new here, I hope you like what you see. If you are a returning viewer, help yourself some, to some tea or some water, whatever you like. Make yourself cozy, get yourself some knitting, some stitching, some chores, however, however you enjoy. And welcome in. Let's sit and chat for just a bit. Mm, that's still a good tea. Very basic black tea, but a very good basic black tea. Sorry, I have a pile over here of stuff I haven't put away. <laughs> Anyhow. Let's get to it. I have my window half open over here, so I've got some weird shading going on, even though I have my ring light up. So maybe I should have moved my ring light over here and I would have had light bouncing from both directions, but I'm not that wise. So we're gonna go with what we're doing. And I'll just, maybe I'll face this way. Nah, you understand. Right, so shall we get into the fun stuff? I have two finished things. And by finished, I mean fully finished, which, it's kind of a cheat when it comes to knitting, because <laughs> I just finished it. Uh, that would be my, uh, they're just, they're just a basic sock. It was just a basic, what was it, a three by one broken rib sock that I did with my Yarnable subscription yarns from who knows when in the colorway Seance. And I did really enjoy how they spiraled on this sock, and I was amused that they pooled on this one. Like they spiraled down the foot and then pulled on the, uh, spiraled down the leg and then pulled on the foot. I, I love yarn. It's interesting. <laughs> it does neat things. But these are a lovely pair of socks. I made the leg a bit, they are actually the same length. I mean, I'm standing them right like this and it doesn't look like they're th they are the same length. This one's just caught on the top. Trust me, they are the same length. <laughs> now I'm wondering, are they the same length? They are the same length. I just did a, like I said, a three by one broken rib, simple, um, what was this, a slip stitch heel, rounded toe, using my typical 64 stitch sock, using a 2.25 millimeter needle, which is my usual needle size. And I loved them. They're fun. I finished my January pair of socks in January, and these were them. I like them. They're awesome. But then I moved to cross stitch and I fully finished something. Not only did I fully finish it, I started it, I stitched it, and then I finished it. I know, I know regular viewers, I should have had you sit down first. I know, I apologize. Next time I'll warn you. But I did, I did. Because all these people have been doing Valentine's Day stuff, and I'm not really into Valentine's Day, so I kind of did my own thing. Now, I do not have a convenient um, plug-in over here to show you the full glory of this finish, so I will just say that if I'm really with it, I will film a little thing with it plugged in and show you it, and I'll insert it right here if I'm really on the ball. If not, I'll just explain. So this is my finish. Old lovers filled with love letters shredded 
love letters. And I also have in here a bunch of red LED lights so they twinkle and look like it's burning. This was a chart called Burn Baby Burn by Monster Bubbles. I used a scrap of 36 count fabric that I dyed. What? Yeah, I just, I just threw some stuff in it and it was way too light so I wanted it something darker and a little tiny bit grungy. I don't know how grungy it shows up, but it's a little grungy. And then I did not use the called for colors because I didn't want to. And I grabbed a whole bunch of things out of my stash. I used some color and cotton. Those are the blues and the matchstick color. And then these two colors are Vicki Clayton's hand dyed silks. So uh, it probably does not show up on here, but the fire is slightly shiny. And this amused me. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm not great at finishing, but I just sewed on some... I thought it was white, but evidently it's a very, very, very pale pink ribbon to tie it around this jar filled with old love letters. Because burn. Burn. You should just burn. She had on here. So this is this is the uh, I keep saying uh and um. I apologize. I'm trying to get better about that because it annoys me. We'll see how well I do. This was the pattern and on it she has written burn them, burn them all, burn them now. And it amused me. So old lovers. I half wish I would have gotten a whiter jar. But it doesn't matter. It actually fits really well on there and uh it um uh, wow uh and um both in the same sentence doing fantastic today aren't we people <laughs> i'll try the they fit it fits the finish fits nicely around this jar i think i did okay again if i'm feeling rambunctious and i'm doing really well i will insert a quick little video of it burning. Now, the original done by Monster Bubbles, she literally did burn old love letters and put the ashes of the burned things in the jar. I thought that was fun and would have probably done that had it not been so windy yesterday and I was not going to sit outside and try to burn paper in a high wind. I mean, it wasn't that high of a wind, but it wasn't, hey, I think I should light things on fire outside kind of wind. Did not think that was very smart. I do have my, my robot vacuum going right now, so if you can hear it, I apologize. Schrodinger is not the smartest of all robots, which is why it is named Schrodinger. It is both a smart robot, because it is supposed to be a smart robot, and it is also the stupidest robot, because it's a robot vacuum. They're only so smart. However, they do keep a lot of the cat fur kind of picked up, so I do like them. Normally do not film during that, but I have a moment now to film. And I have the energy to film, so I am going to film, even though Schrodinger is doing, is doing his thing. Probably run into the door a few times. Speaking of doors, I do have a cat in here right now, so if said cat needs to leave, I will have to pause and get up to let said cat out, and then probably right back in, because as we all know, cats are always on the wrong side of any shut door. Right. So those were my fully finished objects. And then I have two, count them, two, two finishes. That means four things were finished in the past two weeks. Who am I? I don't know, but I like this and I need to keep going. Wait, did I finish this? Wait, 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 We're just gonna double check something because I may be wrong. I am not wrong. Okay, had to double check when I finished my cryptids. Wait, did I show this? last time as a finish? No, I did not. And if I did, did I? We're just going to go back in time, back in time. I did. I already showed my cryptid, so I only have one finished object. 
three finished things for the week. You've already seen this. It's just so lovely. I wanted to share it again, evidently. But since you've already seen this in the last episode, we'll just pop this away because evidently, looking at my calendar to see that I finished this the day before filming last week, not last week, two weeks ago, <sighs> was too hard for me. So, you already saw that one. We'll just toss that in a corner. Actually, it'll go into the drawer of doom and there to live its life out. My next finished object, F-O, not fully finished and may never be, is my 25-7 piece, which was Black Work Dragon by Dragon Dreams. This was done on a 32 count Belfast by Sugar Maple Fabrics in the color Tranquility. And I used a hand-dyed, uh, uh, Vicki Clayton's hand-dyed fibers, in one of her green variegates. I already put that one away, so I do not remember which variegate it was. And here is my finished Black Rock Dragon. This originally was started. Well, no, it was started. It wasn't originally started. I did not restart this. This was started about 15, 16, maybe 17 years ago because I was going to give this to my then very young son who had a love of dragons. That son is now trying to get into graduate school. So I slightly missed getting this done in time for him to enjoy it. However, I was showing it to him yesterday after I had finished this and was all, you remember when you liked dragons? He was all, mm, vaguely. It's been a while. So I was going to make you this for when you liked dragons. And he's like, aw, that's really sweet, Mom. You, you could still give it to me. And I'm like, yes, I could. Except for the fact he's a minimalist and he doesn't like things. <laughs> so I only want to really give him things that he is going to actually currently enjoy. No clue what I will do with this. I did enjoy making it. It was fun. I love how it turned out. Wish I would have finished it 16 years ago. <laughs> I put it on a pillow like I'd originally planned so that my son could have enjoyed it growing up. But I did not do that. And now I have no clue what I will do with it. I did learn that I do not like full black work pieces when I was doing this. I, I just do not enjoy doing all black work all the time. A little bit of black work in a project I'm fine with, but the whole thing, not my jam. So let me bring this forward. It really turned out lovely, but I was so ready to be finished with it. <laughs> all black work all the time, not my jam. And now, if I am smart, I will cut off all the excess fabric because, <clears throat> Oops, let's show the front. A lady does not show her behind. I'm no lady, but I still don't show my behind. I have a lot of fabric I could cut off of this. So if I was smart, I would do that. And then it will go live in my drawer of doom until I figure out what I want to do with it. Maybe one of my friends who has younger kids ha will have a kid that ends up really liking dragons and I can give it to them. Because it's cute, it should be shared. We'll see what happens. But those were all my finishes. Feeling pretty good about life. I really am. It was feeling good. I mean, I thought I was more awesome, but that would just been me showing cryptids again and I'd already finished it before the last video. So let's move on to whips. Whip. What do we have as whips? Well, I have all these advent minis from advent calendars that I've started, that I've, that I purchased. I opened two during Vlogmas, Flossmas, Hall of Log, whatever you wanted to call it. I opened two, two during that time and I have one more that I'm going to be opening during my cancer treatments because it'll be nice to have a treat during that. So I am stitching up one of them. This is the Wallop Cowl by Oh Poo. I do not remember who. This is the Wallop Cowl by I don't remember. I'll put it down here if I'm feeling really rambunctious. I am doing it slightly differently than called for in the pattern. I'm using the correct number of stitches, but she had three different ways of joining the two different colors for your 
minis and I am just doing the eyelet one because I like eyelets they look fun and it makes it really easy this is the something you whimsical whimsical you advent calendar that I opened last December and I am doing the colors in the way that they were opened and well I really thought I was going to get this one finished but my next knitting project will show you why I did not um, I have four more four more colors to do then I zoop three needle bind it well sew it on my ends first then a three needle bind it then toss it in some water I'll let it relax soak hang out have a little bit of a spa day dry it and I will have a finished piece maybe by next time I am doing these on a US 5 3.75 millimeter needle which I believe was the called for needle it is a little looser than I probably should have done but this is also a round cowl so it'll be double thick and then you wrap it twice it'll be warm enough and I don't think it's so loose that it's bad just probably looser than I should have did I do a gauge swatch of course not this is a round cowl that you just zonk on yourself some of these colors are absolutely amazing though I am amused how these ones ended up striping at this gauge and circumference which was kind of fun her color matching was fantastic I love how this solid fades into this marl which fades into this one and then these speckles have both this color and then this color as well it was just very impressive then we have this which goes to this which goes to this I just yeah she did some lovely lovely coloring and these are not necessarily all my colors they're very rangy ish and much more autumnal than my typical wear but it is squishy it is soft and it is lovely and in four more minis I may have a finish hopefully that will happen and be washed and blocked before the next episode cross your fingers people we can hope so that was that we'll pop that in there and then living in my dark Alice in Wonderland bag from slipped string studio is the thing that distracted me from my cowl and that would be I decided to start February sock so I'm trying to finish one pair of socks minimum every month this year I have a lot of sock yarn not all of it needs to be turned in, turned into socks but some of it really does and I decided that this was one of them this is from the sock squad last year from farmers daughters fibers in the colorway mr. fantastic sorry fantastic mr. Fox not mr. fantastic Fox and this was the September color I am using the mini but that will just be for the cuff and the toe I was not sure if I would have enough for a cuff heel and toe and didn't want to fight with it this is the wild bees sock by curious handmade I am doing it on magic loop Haya Haya's 2.25 millimeter like I normally do I am actually following the pattern exactly which I rarely do but I am I really enjoy these bees on the front they're fun and then there was a I have partridge heel and I have just finished the gusset now all I have to do is finish the foot pop on a toe and start a second sock it's only the 8th of January mm, 8th of February so I should have no problem getting a pair of socks done this month and I am enjoying it when I saw this color in September I was all "Ooh, it needs to be some sort of bee or honeycomb or something like that type of sock because of the colors I did that that was just what I saw that was what called to me so that is what I found and did I was in Curious Handmaid's socks not sock squad but her sock group 
her sock pattern. She has collections, ha, ah, sock collection. <laughs> the other year when this, this one came out. I do not recall if that was last year or the year before that this sock came out. I like to buy her collections because I tend to like her socks and I enjoy knitting socks so you can never go wrong. They are complicated enough that they are fun to do but not so complicated that they hurt your brain. I like those kinds of socks too at times but sometimes you want not that complicated but not a vanilla sock and that's what these are and they are fantastic absolutely loving them really loving the farmer daughter's fibers sock yarn too this was the ooh, which base was this one this was their highwood sock which was their 80 20 80 merino 20 20 nylon and i am loving how it's knitting up it's really nice it doesn't pill too much no splitting unless you're an idiot occasionally you split a stitch if you're not paying attention i didn't pay attention a couple times and like right up here there's a split stitch I didn't go back and fix it and that was because I was doing a slip slip knit and I wasn't paying attention when I was doing the slip slip knit and I split this. So if you're paying attention, this is not a splitty yarn. It looks great. I'm loving the definition that I am getting. I'm loving the dyeing of this color because it is variegated without pooling, without striping too much. I mean, there's sort of striping, but it's more of a stratification variegation there. Ooh, stratification variation. Stratification variegation is what I said. I like that. That's, that's, that's fun. I'm really enjoying this yarn. I cannot wait to see how it holds up as socks, but it's feeling pretty good. It feels pretty sturdy. I do like BFL as my preferred sock so far. I have plans to try some Targi and also some Cormo for socks because I've heard that they make even better socks and I love socks so I want to find the one thing that is great but I will use anything well that's not true I won't use a single I will use a lot of things to knit my socks because I really enjoy making socks and I am very much enjoying these it is living in a wood yarn bowl because I keep breaking any kind of other yarn bowl I have a friend who does pottery and she has made me not specifically made me, but she, she has given me a couple of bowls in the past for my yarn. And I have broken both of them. Because I am a horrible human being, and cannot be given nice things. And they were really lovely too. They really were. I'm sorry, cat. I really am. Maybe someday I'll, I'll actually knit you the thing that I'm planning on knitting you and then I can give it to you and maybe ask you to give me another leftover bowl that isn't really good because I don't deserve good. <sighs> so now I'm trying wood. Hopefully that'll be harder for me to break. Only time will tell. Right. That would be all the knitting. Delightful, huh? I think it is. So, <laughs> you heard the chunk. That would be because my, um, my D and D dies are in there. So now, what is up next? Let me put this away. That is that needs to go in the file of finished. So that leaves us with what else did I work on? Cross stitch though. Let's start with living in my Washington Gayron Tutton bag. Hi, Susie. My Washington Gayron Tutton bag is my Modern Folk Embroidery Mystery Knit Along for 2022. I just watched his latest floss tube, his latest episode, and he said the name. And I was all, ooh, ooh, I need to practice that so I know how to say it. And I have completely forgotten. Because you see, this is a Dutch from the Groninger, Groning, Groning region. Netherlands. Um, and it's Dutch, which means there's letters that are put in that I, as a, an English only speaker, don't know how to combine to make the right noise. Anyhow, I have worked on the Mystery Knit Along for 2022. And Jacob said the name, and I do not remember how to say it. So I'm not going to because I do not want to butcher this poor lady's name. However, I did finish February 
and I am still really enjoying this piece. I am doing this on a 40 count tawny buff by Sassy's Fabbies. I do not think she is dying anymore. And I am using Ymir's Almond M&M's Silks. This I bought a Hank. Sorry. The cat is bumping the tripod. She just laid down. It should be fine now. Um, what was I saying? I was saying Ymir. Ymir. I bought a Hank of Ymir's Silk in Raven because you can never have too much black silk. I enjoy this so much. It's so fun. Ah, so fun. I am, but yes, there's, there's the, there's the name. I am putting the original woman's name on it. Um, or girl, I do not know how old she was. I do not recall. Yeah, I've read the things that I listened to the things, but my brain is gone. So I do not recall. I am not going to say her name. <clears throat> But I am putting it on here because I, I, I like it, and this way I do not have to figure out how to put my own on there and figure out spacing. Not my favorite thing. I am doing the, the dudes with the giant grapes in between them. Jacob did set it up so that if you did not want religious iconography on your pattern, you could do two guys with like a life, uh, like a tree of life type potted flower thing between them, but I'm okay with it being that way. I mean, I already have these weird fat cherub dudes holding a crown over here, so I was fine with, with all of that. But I am loving, I still love this deer. I love the dove coat. Oh, the dove coat's so cool. I cannot wait to see the rest of this funky bird, but that, that, that'll be, that'll be a while because, mm, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, I love this. I am doing this one over two on the 40 count, by the way. Ah, uh, I am enjoying this. I actually really, really wish I had just a little bit more to stitch on this because I really, mm, I, mm, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So I wanted to work on it just a little bit more than I did, but there was no more to be done. And therefore it gets put away until March. What? March. Great. Just creepy. Apologies. She's rolling around on the floor underneath the <laughs> underneath the tripod. So if you occasionally get bumped, Stella's just rocking your world today. Yeah. Very much enjoying that. And I want to show off my ah, I lost my needle in the bottom because I wanted to show it off. Oh, there it is. I'll find it. My needle miter. <laughs> yes, it's Jacob from a collaboration that he did with Evertote that I bought last year. And now I think anytime I do a Jacob pattern or at least a Jacob mystery year long stitch along, I, I think I wanna use that, that needle minder because it amuses me and it makes me smile. Now, I'm going to pause for just half a moment and I will be right back. I am back. There was just some stuff needed to be done. So that was that. I then pulled out, yes, I do believe this was the next thing I worked on. Possibly not. Oh, no, actually it was this. I then, because of Whipgo, done by Jessie Marie does stuff? Something like that. I'm blanking on people's names today. They're just, <sighs> yes, Jessie Marie does stuff. I did, I am doing Whipgo. This was one of my two numbers called for this month. This is Living In, the Pretty Paris bag. This is We Live in Hope by <clears throat> Blackbird Designs. I love this piece. I really, really love this piece. I am doing this on a 40 count uh, lakeside linen in the colorway River Willow using all of the called four flosses. And I have finished this for Whipgo this month. Oh, so pretty. I did all of this 
band. I started this band. I put in Salish Sea instead of Chesapeake Bay. And I started putting in my name. I'm doing it. I, I did it to here to make sure that this flower band would fit okay because the G is taller than all the other letters. That's just the way G's go. So the G is taller than all the other letters and I wanted to make sure that it fit in okay and it does. I do not know because my, my name only goes a little bit farther. I do not know what I'm going to do in this space here. In the original there are some triangle designs that Barb put between Chesapeake Bay and her name. But there's only like three of them so after I finish my name I'll see how much space I have in that section and figure out how many triangles I could put in that section and that is probably what I will do unless there's a ton of them in which case that might be awkward and I might have to play around. But. I had to play with the spacing of Salish Sea in my name a lot and I finally got it to where I don't hate it. <laughs> but there you go. I have tons left to do but I am very much enjoying this. As I said I did finish this one for my Whipgo so one of my Whipgo numbers taken care of already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, trying to keep up to date on the whip go and all of my stitch alongs and well, you'll see. You'll see what else I've done to myself. In fact, why don't we show it? I started a new start. More than one obviously because I had the old lovers, the burn baby burn and I finished that one and, and I have another new start and another new start and this is my third new start. So I had four new start. Wow, I had four new starts trying to get my whips down and yet never mind never mind we won't go there living in what used to be my cryptid cell bag i needed something else kind of gothy kind of spooky kind of hmm and i've been seeing all these people doing temperature stitch alongs where you know each day you color something in but none of those temperature charts really called out to me. I mean, the tree is kind of cool. The bookshelf was tempting. I've seen a lot of people doing the bookshelf, and that one was tempting, but just, I don't know, it wasn't quite what I wanted. There's a beautiful butterfly one that is out there. That's pretty. I was tempted by that one. I do like that of butterflies. But it, too, didn't just, it didn't, it didn't quite get me. And then I saw another, another one. It is also... A bookshelf. But it is a goth bush bookshelf. I, I had to. This is, ooh, what fabric is this? Oh, it's hiding down here. I am doing this on a piece of 28 count Starquest by Silkweaver that has been living in my stash for forever. Now, I have not made it very far because I didn't start this until, what day did I start this? The 31st. I started this on the 31st and therefore I'm not very far. In fact, I do not even have a single day put on here. I have just started the top of my gothy bookshelf. This spot right here is actually set aside for a cat, but I think I'm going to fill it in and do something else here because it, I don't know. The cat is cute, but it's upside down and it's sometimes kind of hard to tell that it's a cat. So I might just erase that cat and I don't know, put a bat up here, or maybe a, a raven. Ooh, a raven could be cool. So I'm going to figure out some, some creepy thing to put up here. I have January's two shelves right here. This is where the year goes and then February will be over here so this is this is essentially the center of the project so that is that and each two shelves will be a month so there's January February March April blah 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 you get down to the bottom and then there's a, a rug that would be the word a rug with a cat looking up the big shelf and I think that's cute so I will probably leave that cat I am going to be when I pull this out next, which I'm thinking will be Sunday, I am going to be working on the books 
for my my temperatures. So I will be putting the the main part of the book as the high, but I'm going to also be putting like not like like titles, but the the horizontal parts of the book, the binding of a book. It has a name and I know what the name is and it's gone, it's gone. That I'm going to put as my low. So I will be showing both the high and the low temps on this. Now, when I decided that I wanted to do this, I kept looking at everybody's temperatures and I'm like, I live in the Pacific Northwest. I need not to go so cold, not to go too hot, but my mids need, I need a lot of colors in my mids, otherwise I'm gonna have a shelf of one color. <laughs> Some days, that's kinda how this goes. So I spent a lot of time figuring out my colors. Yeah, these are the ones I have yet to bobinate. And by bobinate, I mean bobinate. These are my colors that I have put on my little bobbins so far. So as you can see, it will be a very gothy bookshelf. And I am excited. So hopefully next time I show up, I will have at least a couple of books on my bookshelf for January. I am keeping track of my highs and my lows in my city for posterity's sake. And I am enjoying the colors. loving it. This is just DMC and a lot of a lot of working on my on my temperature range. That that is what I finally came up with for my temperature range. My temp chart is what it is called. So I have temperatures that will be 30 and below. We do not too often get below 30 as a high. I I was concentrating more on the highs than the lows for my temperatures. And I do have a hundred and above because we have had a couple of days where it's done that like last year. Then a lot of my chart, my, a lot of my numbers, I'm like, I have a color for the range of 48 and 49. That's a two degree range because we get a lot of 40s and 50s. So I have a lot of ranges that are just a couple of numbers. 50, 51, 52 to 55. Ooh, I did three. So I have a lot of things like that. I really fought on this chart and all of that. Oh, are you gonna wanna leave, Stella? We will find out if I need to get up to let the cat out. I don't know if she knows. <laughs> Anyhow, I am enjoying that. I was trying to bobinate all of them before I started and then got tired. <laughs> Of doing that so now I'm just going to do it as I come up to the thing. There are some tchotchkes and the like inside the bookshelf and I will be putting those in. There's a plant, things like that, but I think I am going to add a little a bat or a, a raven or something in, on the top instead of that one cat. Yeah, yeah I do. All right, the cat is looking forlornly at the door, so I'm just going to pause right here, pop up, and take care of the cat. <laughs> and indeed, the cat did want out. Now we will see how long it takes before she wants right back in. Oh, tea, elixir of life. So after those starts, I have another another new start because I did the acorns and threads gathering of nuts zoom meeting thing and I waited patiently to open up my package and I opened it when I was supposed to and inside we found this all about the acorn by Lou Who Stitches. This is a designer that I've, I know nothing about, so that was fun because she was on, she was on the Zoom as you know, the designer for the thing. <laughs> gathering? Gathering of nuts, so we'll call it a gathering. And this was the pattern that they had kitted up for us. I decided to start it during the Zoom because why not? I am, I'm using 
all the things that were already in the package, like the threads, the fabric, that's what I'm using. And that is as far as I made it during the zoom. I have that top band, these triangles, a couple of the falling acorns, one of the started one of the leaves, have the acorn that the squirrel has grabbed, and I have my cool needle minder that they had in the bag as well. There was also one of these on a scissor fob zipper pull type thing and I have it on a pair of my scissors which I didn't bring because it just looks like this. You can get these at Acorn and Thread but they do not say Acorn Gathering 2020. I think they just say Acorns and Thread. I enjoyed this. It was fun. I'm not sure when I will get back to this project but I have added it to my smalls list so who knows it could happen. I It was fun. I, I am amused by the, the falling squirrel. They keep calling it a flying squirrel, but I'm, hmm, that's not a flying squirrel. That squirrel's fallen. That squirrel gives no leaves anymore. It's got the giant nut and it doesn't care and it's just going to fall to the ground. And watching the squirrels in my backyard, that's exactly what they do when they get their hands on a food that they do not want to let go of. They don't care. They will fall right out of a tree if they have what they want. They give no things. I enjoy feeding birds in my yard, so I have a few different ways of keeping the squirrels away. <laughs> One is to put in the giant, to, to put my giant bird feeder right in the center of my yard with a squirrel baffle on it. They can't get to that one because there's no trees close enough that they can jump to it, and the squirrel baffle actually does stop them if there's nothing close enough to it. So they try, they try, and they try, and they fail. So then they sit there and they look up at the crows and the other corvids. The crows usually leave my stuff alone, but when it was snowy, they did not. They needed food. So they look at the other corvids. They, they look at the, the blue jays and they're like, hey, hey, knock down that suet. You can do it. Just drop some big old chunks. And then they run off with those. I, I, I almost don't mind because interspecies cooperation is fascinating to watch. But yeah, that, that is not a flying squirrel. In my world, that is a falling squirrel. He's fallen on his butt. We will see when we get back to this one. It is living in a spooky bag. I'm going to try and fold this up a little bit nicer than I had it folded because it just kind of got shoved in there and it's all sorts of crinkly. But crinkles happen, people. Crinkles happen. Then, my last start, which... I'm not going to count so much as a start because I finished my 25-7 project, so I needed another 25-7 project. I, when I was picking out my Black Work Dragon one, sat there for way too much time trying to figure out what would be my next small for my 25-7. I don't want... I, um, analysis paralysis really hit me hard. So what I have done is I have put all of my smalls on a wheel. And I'm going to just hit the button and it will spin and it will pop out whatever small it hits on and that will be the small that I work on for my 25-7 until it is done. Now when I did this I picked I, I specifically called out all of my smalls even the ones that technically aren't started because they are part of a larger project like my uh, French garden hmm, French kitchen and my virtues and my blackbird stockings and all of those but I didn't care I was like okay I'm gonna put all of the months of the stockings that I haven't done yet those will be on there all the seasons of my French kitchen will be on there my two virtues that are not done yet will be on there my anyway you get the picture all of my smalls were on there so I finished yesterday <laughs> Yesterday is when I finished my Blackwork Dragon. So after I finished my Blackwork Dragon, I pulled up my wheel and went click. And it did the little spinny thing and boom, it popped onto one. And I went, that's what I'm doing. Put the wheel away, grabbed all my stuff and pulled out the winter French kitchen project. I have not started had not started this one yet. I have done one of, I think I've done summer. I've done the blueberries one. And up came winter. So winter got pulled out. That is what I will be doing. 
Pear and Rosemary, or Poi, and I don't know how to say rosemary in French. Rosemary is not a word I had to use in my French, restaurant French that I ever used, but Poi, Poi was what I used rather, rather, rather often, on, oddly enough. So, Poi and Rosemary. Because, why not? We'll make us our French and our English. Why not? And this came out. For, oh, oh, oh no, I had all my threads in there and they all fell out and fell on the floor. And they're not covered. Well, they're not covered in fluff, but, but. Anyhow, that came out. And I have done my 25 for today. And there we go. <laughs> it's amusing when you haven't done any work on one before, how little 25 minutes is. So I am just at the start of this valance up here. I'm using the called for colors on the called for fabrics and I will have plenty of leftover fabric, which I am delightful for. I, I, I'm delighted at because, you know, I'm trying to get more things done and, and more projects and extra fabric is never a problem. But that, boop, that's all she wrote for my 25 minutes. Very fun. I'm enjoying it. I have all of them in here, which was an Evertote bag, or is an Evertote bag. So I have all of the French Kitchen series, including the box, there's the word, the box that um, they live in. All of it is living in there, including the board to hang them on. Because who knows, if I finish all of them, I might finish, finish all of them. It could happen. I mean, I'm getting better at it happening this year, sort of. So that was started technically today. Well, not technically today, definitely today. I started that today. And that is, oh, that's all the whips. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I kind of got my hands on a lot of things the last two weeks, didn't I? Wow. I really didn't think I was that many projects, but <laughs> that's why I'm doing this because I find it fascinating to see what I've ended up working on in two weeks and some days it's one thing and other days it's six or seven. I don't even know. That's really fun. Let us move on to, oh, speaking of plans, I mean, I'll do plans here and then maybe I'll edit and put it where it should have been before probably before stash that's where plans should have gone so if i'm really good this is where that'll be and we'll see whether or not i have this chunk of babbling in there we will find out right plans so what are my plans stick with my 25 7 every day that's what 25 7 is every day see how far i can get in the next two weeks on my poi and rosemary other than that, I have my other Whipco number, which is focus piece. That's what I have written down, five, um, five hours on a focus piece. So my focus piece this month, and it's the one in my head that I've called my focus piece until it's finished, is Jane Reese. I'm loving the red letters. Red alphabet, yay! Bristol sampler, yay! Love it! So that is my focus piece. So I am going to get at least 10 hours in on Jane Reese this month. Five hours for my, I have four whips that I'm trying to get at least five hours into every month. So that'll be that. And then try and get as a focus piece, five more hours on it. So hopefully 10 hours on Jane Reese. That's what I'm going to be pulling out today is Jane Reese. And Modern Folk Embroidery Sal is one of those pieces. Jane Reese is one of those pieces. And Grimshaw is one of those four pieces I'm trying to take out every month. And my Maidens. And my focus piece is Jane Reese. After I finish Jane Reese, because hopefully I can get 10 hours in on it before two weeks is over, I will pull out Anne Grimshaw. I kind of like it that way because then it's Modern Folk Embroider at the beginning of the month, which is a black sampler. Jane Reese, which is a red sampler. And Grimshaw, which is another black sampler. And then Maidens, which is completely different. <laughs> kind of like it. We'll see how long it lasts, but you know, hopefully I'll get some finishes. So that will be my main focuses will be 
I'm my 25-7, my Jane Reese, when I get Jane Reese finished, and Grimshaw, and then on Sunday, maybe both Sundays, I will pull out my goth temperature cell and try and get some chunks done on that so I can say up to date ish on that. I mean, I'm nowhere close to up to date on it. I mean, it's the 8th of February and I haven't even put one January book on it. So try and get up to date on it. We'll see. We'll see. That is my plan. Come back next time in two weeks and see if said plan actually panned out. We'll find out. Stash. Things that are now in my stash that were not in my stash before and have yet to be started. I have a couple. Most of this is stuff that I bought last year. Most. I did sign up for Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Cottage Garden Samplings. They're, they're in the woods series. So I did sign up to get all of them. I'm an, an, I am on an auto ship. And this was the third. This was the Jackrabbit. And it is adorable. And those ears. Those ears. Look at those ears. Anyhow. Ah! Did that. Then I did purchase this last year and it arrived the other day. This was purchased off of a <sighs> Facebook group whose name I do not recall. I did get the lighter fabric plus all the things. Um, you purchased it from the Facebook group through Acorns and Threads is who sent it. Hence the Acorns and Thread square. I did do this because at the time it was winter and it was dark and but I really love the dark. So now I'm contemplating, do I want to buy some 32 count black and do it on the black? Or do I just want to stick with this little one? I haven't decided yet, but that's okay. I have time. This isn't going to be started anytime soon. Maybe next winter. Maybe next winter I'll start this. But I think it is sweet and heartstrings heart string samplery. For some reason I always want to call it heart strings samplery, but it's not. I love it. It is Winter Comes. I could not read it. Apologies. It is Winter Comes. I like it. It's sweet. But yes, now I'm recontemplating the fabric. That would be a lot easier to stitch on, but oh, the black. The black is tempting to me. I have a stack of things that need to go away, so I'm putting them over here so that I can put them away. Something else that I received, I am on Tracy Horner's Patreon and I am at the level where she sends me the the new charts that she releases. So I received a shipment from her. Awesome Possum, which amuses me more than it should. And awesome possum is something that a lot of my friends and I have said because we're old people and that is something we used to say. Awesome possum. And it is kind of a cute possum. And then there is Reflections of Mexico. I do love her monochromatic mandala types. And that one is pretty. And then there is this one, which I super love and am very tempted to get up and start, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, but I really want to. It is New Doors. Oh, I love that one. I just, I don't know. I love this one. It says, old keys won't open new doors. And I, ah, that one. Mm. That is my favorite from this grouping. Love it. When you have lots of things in little tiny bags and you put it on something that's not exactly flat, sometimes they just slide right off. Who knew? I have my He Stitch Me Color Frost. I think that was the latest one. He is a beautiful blue. I, oh, uh, mm, I have thoughts. I get her 40 count linen, 18 by 27 inch piece. Love absolutely beautiful. And then last month, it was Poe's birthday on the 17th, I do believe. 
and if it's Poe's birthday, you, you have to celebrate somehow. Now, the sensible thing for me to have done would have been to start a project related to Poe, like, oh, I don't know, Nevermore. There's like four different Nevermores, but I, I, I can't remember who did the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> a bunch of things, and a little Nevermore, and a little crow, Corvid, whatever. Did I do that? No, 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 no. No, 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 because while I have a million things as whips and starting things that I already have and then creating them into whips would make more sense because then, well, I already have the, the project and the chart and the, the fabric and the threads. So starting it just, just puts it from kitted to started and doesn't increase my stash. Did I do that? No, 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 why would I do that? No, I, I decided that I needed to buy something. And it needed to be a corvid of some kind. Ooh, excuse the squeak. So I bought from Al Forest Embroidery rooks. Bought the kit. Because those rooks are awesome. Now, we all know nothing can travel alone. So I had to buy at least one other thing from Al Forest Embroidery. And this is where things got dangerous. You see, I couldn't make up my mind between the whale or the cat. Whale, cat, whale, cat, whale, cat, whale, cat, whale, cat. So I got them both. Because they are awesome. And yes, these are both the kits with the fabric and the threads. And if you're going to get an Owl Forest embroidery chart and you're getting it in physical form, why not splurge and go the rest of the way and get the floss, because the flosses are awesome. When am I going to start these? I have no clue. But I now have three more. Al Forest embroidery kits. Da, da, da. And, yeah, 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 yeah. I got these ordered on the 17th of January. It took like two weeks to show up. I have no clue how they got here so fast. I think they put them on some birds. Just flew them over because that was quick and I did not expect them to show up when they did. They showed up on the porch and I was all, how, how are they here already? Stupid quick. I know it does not always work that way because they are from Russia. It does not always work that way, but I must have just hit the right, I don't know, <laughs> hit, the right, hit the right moment, hit the right moment in time and they showed up and they are beautiful and gorgeous and mm, I really want to start them. All three. I'm trying to get my whips down. I know, I know. I'm almost trying to buy less. However, while I did do this, budget-wise, I am still within my budget. I am not following specifically the Stitch from Stash budget group. I, I haven't signed up, in other words. But I am following that method of you give yourself x amount of dollars per month and then you earn money towards your cross stitch purchases and you subtract it when you buy things and right now i am at 26 dollars in the positive no 23 sorry 23 dollars in the positive i know and i'm only giving myself 20 dollars a month <laughs> so while this was very expensive i have finished several things and have earned earned enough money back to do some purchasing and still be in the black for my stash money thing which is good I would like to buy less because I, I, and I'm counting my in the woods pieces as purchases so each month I don't know how much was that okay that comes out so I'm I'm being very exact. If I have to like repurchase a thread for a project that I'm already working on and I run, literally run out completely of that thread, I'm not counting that. Um, so far that hasn't happened, <laughs> but I won't, I won't be counting that. I do not see running out of most threads. I have plenty of DMC. I have plenty of other threads, so I do not see that happening, but I won't count that because I would only be purchasing it if I needed it to finish. Now, if that purchase of thread leads to me purchasing more things, then yes, that thread will be counted as new stash and just deducting that portion of money 
from my stash numbers, but I'm hoping that won't happen. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. And things that I purchased last year that are showing up now, I'm not counting because I purchased them last year. They don't count. That, that money already is long, long gone, long gone. Now I have one last one. Yes, I think just one last purchase. And that is something I purchased last year. Uh, and it is yarn. I purchased a Two Towers box from Dragon Horde Yarn and it showed up. I'm not going to show you everything from the box because there was some tea, there was a wax seal stamper thingy with some wax, there was a lollipop for some reason, there was something else, a uh, solid perfume. All Lord of the Rings related, all Two Towers related, and this was the colorway of the yarn and it is named Aragorn and I'm in love with that color. <gasps> Look at it! Look at those colors! It is so a beautiful. It was so beautiful, my camera couldn't handle it anymore and had to turn off. That is how beautiful this yarn is. It stunned my camera. I love this yarn. It is such a great color. Such a good color. Such, such a good color. <gasps> I am in love. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this, but I think it needs to be part of a shawl. It's nice and squishy. It is their myth fingering, which is a 75 merino, 25 nylon. But I think that needs to be part of a shawl. Ooh, maybe I can put that in with my Vertices Unite. But wanting to make a Stephen West, uh, Vertices Unite by Stephen West for a while now, but I cannot figure out my yarn choices for it. I just keep bouncing around back and forth, back and forth, taking this out, taking that. Maybe that needs to be in it. Mm, gorgeous, though. Love this color. Love it so freaking much. So much. So that was a lot of stash that I probably should not have been buying, but I did. I mean, some doesn't count. I am not counting my Patreon charts as coming out of my stash money because I am paying that Patreon amount to support Tracy Horner, not to get her charts. Like, not specifically for that reason. I like to support different artists, and right now Tracy Horner is my, my high tier supported other people. I support other people. I just get random things. So that didn't come out of my stash. But no, my jackrabbit did. My jackrabbit did. As did my goth temperature blanket. Blanket? Not a blanket. Goth temperature, Sal. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I got out of my stash that way. Right. <laughs> A little chaotic there, a little confusing. Apologies for that. That is all of that. So now I guess we are on to life and whatnot. Not much. <laughs> not much still. Not, not, not much still. I am still having a hard time recovering from my surgery. Um, I'm not sure why, but I just don't have energy. I was doing the dishes the other day and I had to stop halfway through and sit down for 15 minutes before I could finish the rest of the dishes. I, I can walk a mile and then I need to sit down and rest. Um, if I'm sitting, I no longer have to take naps. Like if, I, if I'm just taking it really easy, like really easy, I'm fine and I don't have to take any more naps, but I'm still having a hard time completely recovering. And I'm not sure why. As people keep reminding me, it's been a month, Lee. It's been a month. You're fine still. Like, it's all good. It has only been a month. But I want to be better. I want to be back at work. I want to, I want a lot of things to go back to normal, and they aren't going to yet. I hope to, <laughs> to keep my job. Uh, they are fine. They are, they, are, they, they are still great. But I am feeling bad that I have had so much time off because of all of this. And I feel that... They should be allowed to hire someone who isn't ill and can work <laughs> the days that they need them because that's why they hire people is so that they fill the time that they they need someone to work. And I'm feeling really guilty that I keep having to take the time off. And as soon as my radiation starts, I still won't be working because that's daily and I I don't know how I can schedule the radiation and work 
even if I don't have any side effects from the radiation. I don't know how to schedule that and still work with commuting and all of that, and I don't know what time I would be able to schedule the radiation. I'm hoping that doctor calls me soon so that I can get that started, because I want it done. I just want it done. I am so over this whole breast cancer thing. <laughs> if only wanting to be over it would get you over it, that'd be fantastic. Would that be the way to deal with health issues? Oh my gosh, I'm done with this, and whoop, you are. That uh, would be a perfect world. I'm done with this. My cousin, I'm done with MS, just done with it, and boom, she's done with it. That, wouldn't that be fantastic, people? Sadly, that's not how bodies or humans work. You can't just say, I'm done with this health issue, and have it be done. Alas. <laughs> I'm done with laundry, boom, it's done. Yeah, world, worlds don't work that way. Oh, if only they did. Anyhow, that's some emotional stuff right there. Apologies. Other than that, let's see. I am continuing to try to slowly get better. I'm continuing to try, slowly, try and slowly get my energy up, my ability to get better up <laughs> without wearing myself out. I am getting, I am doing a lot better. Um, my incision and all that is fantastic. It's well healed. I am ready to start that radiation. I mean, I would be happy to start it tomorrow if they let me. Want it all done. I did save, like I said earlier, I did save one of my, my advent calendar, yarn advent calendars to open. I actually saved two because of how many days that I have to do radiation. It's more than 24. Uh, <laughs> as it goes. I saved two to save uh, so that I to buy, I bought them so that I could open them during my radiation. One a day. Just something to look forward to. I... It's kind of silly, but it makes me feel good. So that is what I'm doing. Other than that, my the guy is still working from home. Will be at least for, until the end of the month. Then his office will e reevaluate. Whether or not they will be going back into the office a couple days a week. That is what they were doing before they went back to working at home. It was just a couple days a week they were in the office. I would like that for slightly selfish reasons. I know it much, it's much better him being home commute-wise and all of that. But I know he also enjoys seeing his people in person. So I'm hoping he can get back to going into the office the number of days that he wants to. Let's put it that way. The kid is working his butt off at the climbing gym. He had a day this week where he worked from 9 in the morning until 11 at night. I remember those years when I was that young and that healthy and that energetic that I could work a, a shift like that and then work the next day. I remember those days. Those were nice days. I don't like having to work like that, but it was nice that when you needed to, you could and not have to spend four days recovering. <laughs> Anyhow, he is still loving that job. Um, if only the world worked in such a way where you could work a job you love and actually pay bills. He has been looking at how much it will cost to move out again, and He's, he's waiting until he hears back from um, the different colleges that he's applied to if he gets into um, any one of the programs that he wants to for grad school. Then he will figure out where he can live and how much it will cost him. But he's, he's playing around with how much that will cost compared to how much he's making now at a minimum wage job in an area that is not cheap to live in and going, wow! I thought it was hard to pay for stuff when I was going to college, and now, hmm. It's like, yeah, being an adult sucks, doesn't it? If only you could do just the things you love and live. If only you could work a 40 hour a week job and be able to buy a, 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 the rent of an apartment, even, you know, with a friend. If only you could afford working 40 hours a week to live. You know, that'd be great. Be real great. Oh, if only. Right. Other than that, let's see, let's see, there was something else I was going to say, and I do not remember, oh, I remember what it is. We've, we've, we've started pricing getting a new roof, because 
we had some really huge rains in November in the Pacific Northwest. Really heavy rain. And on the first day of that really heavy rain, mm, our roof started leaking. Wah wah. That's so great. Second day of the really heavy rain, the kid was up on the roof with some roofing tar. <laughs> Trying to find the leak. They found the leak. Covered it in roofing tar. Covered like half the roof over here on, in, roof, in, in roofing tar. Doesn't matter. I don't care. The leak was found. The leak was covered. The leak was no longer leaking. However, this does mean <laughs> that the, the roof needs to be replaced. We were hoping we had a year or two before we had to do that. We were hoping that this year would be the year that we could replace the deck. Wah, wah. Not so much. We we're going to be replacing the roof instead. So we've had roofers coming over for quotes. Boing, what? That's a pretty penny. I mean, I knew it was going to be a pretty penny. And it is roughly the area I was expecting it to be money-wise. But it is also at the same time. Also with, you know, medical bills. It's a lot of money going out of the house right now. We, we, we're fine. We can afford it. I'll be buying less. But we can afford our bills. We can afford everything. So no, no worries there. And that it's still like, yay! It's a lot of money that I would rather put into savings or things like that. Like, hey, I'd like a vacation instead of a new roof. That would be nice. But no, 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 no roof. It will be. We have a few more few more roofers coming in to give us quotes and yeah it's a pretty penny it's a pretty couple pennies it's, you know a couple new cars depending on what kind of car you're getting we're we're looking at getting a metal roof which is part of the reason why the, the money price is so way we hoi i so we're looking at getting a metal roof and yeah wah expensive. No, it would be expensive, but still, wow, expensive. That's, that's it. I mean, that's more than you guys all needed to know. I realize that. But you know, if you stayed this long, thank you. If you stayed this long, comment down below and go, oh my god, roofs are expensive. You are so right about that. Or, you know, tell me, tell me, tell me what project I should finish next of, of all the ones that I have out here. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe I've babbled enough at you. I believe this is going to be long enough because I talked a lot. I'm not sure why, but I did. Enough on that though. I will let you all head on home, head on to your next floss tube, YouTube, chore, bed, whatever, whatever it is you choose to do after this. Enjoy. And I will see you all again here in two weeks where you can see if I stuck to any of my plans. Or if I've started radiation. Cross your fingers that I've at least started radiation, please. Or gone in to get the weird tattoo so that they know where my radiation needs to go. Cross your fingers for me, people. <laughs> I would love to at least have gotten that far. Mm. I hope. On that note, I will see you all next time. And I think I'm gonna go edit this. Stitch some and watch some new floss tubes myself or knitting tubes they don't have a floss tube name they're just called podcasts usually which is silly because a podcast is verbal and vlog maybe vlog i don't know i'm gonna watch youtube crafting videos because i like them <laughs> until later all i'll see you in two weeks take care enjoy your coffee your tea your borders your stitch counts May it all match. Bye-bye.